welcome we are going to show you that 0 1 2 3 4 5 this set of numbers forms a finite abelian group under addition modulo 6 before doing this work i will take one minute to say what is modulo 6 modulo 6 means if we are dividing an integer by 6 then the minimum positive reminder non-negative in state of saying positive it is better to say non-negative reminder is known as addition number. Suppose if you are dividing 17 by 5 what will come? 5 3 is a 15 2 will be the reminder then you will say 3 is huh? 2 modulo 17 is 2 modulo 5 27 if we are dividing 27 by 5 then also the reminder will be 2 we will say as 27 is also 2 modulo 5 simple thing so in this way we have to change this one now let us come to this given sum that is we will form a composition table addition modulo so you can write plus modulo 6 and the numbers are 0 1 2 3 4 5 here it is 0 1 2 3 4 5 see you have to know this method so 0 plus 0 is 0 when we are dividing it by 6 the remainder will be 0 so it will be 0 0 plus 1 is 1 when we are dividing by 6 the remainder will be 1 0 plus 2 is 2 if we are dividing by 6 2 the remainder will be 2 similarly 0 plus 3 is 3 the remainder will be 3 0 plus 4 will be 4 if we are dividing by 6 the remainder will be 4 and 0 plus 5 is 5 in this case also the remainder will be 5 but 1 plus 0 is 1 if we are dividing by 6 the remainder will be 1 1 plus 1 is 2 if we are dividing by 6 the remainder will be 2 1 plus 2 equals to 3 dividing by 6 the remainder will be 3 1 plus 3 is 4 if we are dividing by 6 remainder will be 4 1 plus 4 is 5 and the <coughs> dividing by 6 the remainder will be 5 1 plus 5 is 6 if we are dividing by 6 the remainder will be 0 Similarly, 2 plus 0 is 2, the remainder will be 2. 2 plus 1 is 3, the remainder will be 3. 2 plus 2 is 4, the remainder will be 4. 2 plus 3 equals to 5, the remainder will be 5. 2 plus 4 equals to 6. If we are dividing by 6, the remainder will be 0. 2 plus 5 is 7. If we are dividing by 6, the remainder will be 1. Now again, 3 plus 0 is 3. Dividing by 6, the remainder will be 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. It will be 4. 3 plus 2 is 5. It will be 5. 3 plus 3 is 6. Dividing by 6, the remainder will be 0. 3 plus 4 is 7. Dividing by 6, the remainder will be 1. 3 plus 5 is 8. Dividing by 6, remainder will be 2. 4 plus 0 is 4. 
so remainder will be 4 4 plus 1 is 5 remainder will be 5 4 plus 2 is 6 remainder will be 0 4 plus 3 is 7 it will be 1 4 plus 4 8 the remainder 2 4 plus 5 9 dividing by 6 remainder will be 3 5 plus 0 5 so remainder will be 5 5 plus 1 6 remainder will be 0 5 plus 2 7 remainder will be 1 5 plus 3 8 dividing by 6 remainder will be 2 5 plus 4 is 9 dividing by 6 remainder will be 3 5 plus 5 is 10 dividing by 6 remainder will be 4 so you can see this composition table all the elements are from this belongs to this set so we can say this addition modulo 6 eh, operation between any two numbers gives a number which belongs to this set so here this bucket is applicable for binary operation the first part is done now we have to show the second part that is identity element okay so here we are getting hmm, 0 plus 0 is 0 1 plus 0 is 1 2 plus 0 is 2 3 plus 0 is 3 4 plus 0 is 4 5 plus 0 is 5 hmm? similarly we can say 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 1 is 1 0 plus 2 is 2 0 plus 3 is 3 0 plus 4 is 4 0 plus 5 is 5 so that means our property of A cross B if A cross E equals to A and E cross A that means A cross means any operation a binary operation between A and B gives A and E and A also gives A then E is known as the identity element so here identity element is 0 identity element is 0 okay. then we will say inverse if we are doing with which we are doing operation such that we will get the identity element 1 plus with this plus modulo 6 with 5 will give us 0 we are getting the identity element so inverse of 1 is 5 2 if we are applying the property 4 we are getting 0 then therefore we are inverse of 2 is 4 3 we are applying this with 3 then we are getting 0 so inverse of 3 is 3 4 if we are doing with 2 we are getting 0 since 2 is the inverse of 4 5 if we are doing it with 1 we are getting 0 so in this way all the elements is having an inverse so this property is also then now we have to see inverse exists that we have to show these are first step we have shown that it is binary operation is possible second step we have shown this one third step we have shown the inverse element takes place fourth step we have to show that a operation b operation c equals to a operation b operation c this is called associative property take any one suppose 0 operation 1 operation 2 we are getting hmm? this is equals to what we are getting 0 operation 1 with 2 we are getting 
थ्री एंड जीरो एंड थ्री वी आर गेटिंग थ्री नाउ वी विल शो दैट वन दैट इज जीरो ऑपरेशन वन विथ ऑपरेशन टू जीरो एंड वन वेन वी आर डूइंग ऑपरेशन वी आर गेटिंग वन सो इक्वल्स टू वन दिस ऑपरेशन टू वेन वी आर डूइंग वन विथ टू वी आर गेटिंग थ्री इक्वल्स टू थ्री सो यू आर गेटिंग दैट मीन्स दिस प्रॉपर्टी दिस इज होल्ड दैट मीन्स एसोसिएटिव प्रॉपर्टी होल्ड After doing this much, we can say it's a group. Still, we cannot say it's an abelian group. For abelian group, the property is a cross b equals to b cross a. That means between any two elements, eh? suppose take three and four. If we are showing three cross four, is what three. Four gives us one. Now see four plus three. Four is operated with three. We are getting also one. That means this commutative property is also holds. When this commutative property holds, that means it is an abelian group. So you have to prove for abelian group. We have to prove all the five properties first. We have shown that this binary operation is possible in this table. Second, we have shown you that identity element is zero. Third is inverse exists for all the elements. Then associative property. Then commutative property. We have to from this table. It is I have shown two examples. From this table, it is clear for any two elements. This from these two properties, associative and commutative property holds. Hope I can able to explain what is this abelian group under addition module six. Thank you.